On January 3rd, 2022, 64-year-old Jane called 911 and reported that she and her husband, John, had found her 36-year-old daughter, Lisa, dead on their couch. It was revealed that for at least 12 years, Lisa had been neglected by her parents after becoming unable to leave her house due to mental health issues. It was discovered that after this mental decline, Jane and John had left their daughter on their couch to suffer in her own excrement and allowed bugs to eat at her body, failing to attempt to get her medical care. Lisa was suffering from autism spectrum disorder. Due to her mental health, she was ruthlessly bullied at school, which was making her condition worse. To help her mental health, her parents neither took her to doctor nor even switched her school, but made her just stay at home all day. But the bullying continued at home as well. That too, from her parents, Jane and John complained all day about Lisa, stating that they did not want to be caregivers when they became parents. This made her mental health further deteriorate, and she started to sit all day on the couch. She even started urinating and defecating on the couch. Instead of seeking medical assistance for Lisa, Jane and John left Lisa on the couch. It is possible for those with mental health issues to be treated and recover, and Jane and John had the financial standing to do so if they wished. Instead, being thoughtful, they kept few towels around her to prevent the couch from ripping. They kept the entire house well cleaned, except for the couch where their own daughter remained unable to move from the couch on her own. Over time, Lisa's clothes began to no longer fit her, simply draping off of her body because of the starvations all she was left was with bones, no flesh. Her body slowly started to fuse into the leather couch cushions as she was covered in urine and feces, as well as maggots living in her hair and inside her. The maggots creeped inside her skin, causing infection in her bones, leading finally to sepsis, which caused her death the death that put end to her pain. On January 3, 2022, Jane called 911 and stated that she had found Lisa dead on their couch. Emergency services and the coroner arrived at the home and discovered Lisa's deceased, naked, and malnourished 96-pound body fused into the family's leather couch and immediately knew she had been the victim of torturous neglect. According to Coroner, in his whole life, he has never seen such a terrifying case in her whole life. It was determined that Lisa had been deceased for one to two days before Jane had finally decided to call 911, or even it came into her knowledge that her own daughter is no more. Jane and John lied to police that it had been Lisa's own decision to lay in those conditions for 12 years. Her autopsy ruled her death a homicide. Investigators stated they could not sleep or eat after investigating the killing due to the mental distress that the gruesome nature of the case caused them. In May 2022, Jane and John were arrested and charged with the second-degree murder of Lisa. They were later released on bail. A judge dismissed the charge, but Jane and John were re-indicted on murder by a grand jury in June 2023. On February 6, 2024, Jane and John pleaded no contest in exchange for the charge being reduced to the lesser conviction of manslaughter. If convicted of second-degree murder, they would have faced a mandatory sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. The prosecution stated their intention to seek the maximum manslaughter sentence of 40 years in prison in an attempt to still achieve a de facto life sentence for Jane and John. Their sentencing is currently scheduled for March 20, 2024, 